New at six, a Matthews County man led a team to a breakthrough in shark research earlier this year. His team delivered the first ever sand tiger shark pup born in captivity. And when we say delivered, we mean he had to pull that baby out by hand. Ooh, digital content producer Savannah Hogdall spoke with him about the unique delivery. Matthews County's own Dr. Bob George led an amazing project at Ripley's Aquarium of Myrtle Beach this March. He delivered a scientifically important baby shark. This is the first uh, live birth in the U.S. and certainly the first live birth that's resulted from artificial insemination that I know of in the world. There have been pregnancies in captivity before, but those pups weren't born alive. The feeling is that these animals uh, aren't getting the signal maybe to have their pup. So when the pup was positioned well, we decided to kind of help Mother Nature along a little bit. Being made of cartilage, a shark can turn and bite its own tail. The large pup in there, despite the fact that it was about three feet long and 17 pounds, could do flip turns in there. And uh, so luckily when it was time for this pup to come out, uh, it was tail first and not the bitey end, as my wife would say. He's the one who had to reach in and get baby rip. I delivered it just like I would deliver a calf. So that's why it was important that the bitey oh, end was yeah. at the other end of the shark. Rip's doing well now, growing in a tank with other small sharks and rays. His length is increasing, but he's losing some of that baby fat. He's looking more sharky all the time. While Big Mama did a great job, there's a reason he's not kept with her. Mom has no maternal instinct at all. She would consider him a hostess Twinkie and he would disappear. Dr. Bob says learning how to breed vulnerable animals in captivity helps boost their overall numbers. It's one of those things that everything benefits from. And of course, techniques that work in sand tigers could work in uh, even more endangered sawfish or other species. Savannah Hugdahl, 13 News Now. Looking pretty sharky. Sharky. Yep, we have the full interview with Dr. Bob about Rip's start to life on 13newsnow.com. Just search Ripley's.